Look closely at his favorite mouse. Put the lively mouse into the blender. Soon a bowl of fresh and delicious mouse juice is ready. But this time, he wanted to give this delicious food to his mother. No matter how much she resisted, she had to force him to drink it all. The girl's name was Anna. Since she was a child, her mother kept her in a room. She was made to serve different men. Finally, one day she couldn't take it anymore. Anna took a knife and stabbed a man in the thigh, stabbed several holes in the man's thigh. The panicked man took it to the side. Boiling water was poured directly on Anna's face. Since then, her face has become devilish. But her mother did not care for her. Instead, she forced her to continue earning money for herself. She threatened her daughter with scissors. She threatened to cut out her tongue if she didn't obey. Anna cried out in despair. At this moment she could only choose to compromise. When her mother let her guard down and was defenseless, she took the scissors and stabbed her mother in the stomach. Then she pushed her mother against the wall, choking her to death. Her eyes were full of anger. She wanted to double the damage she had suffered to her mother. Since then, she kept her mother in captivity and cut out her tongue. Every day she was given nutritious rat juice, but even that didn't bring Anna out of the shadows. Instead, she became more aggressive in order to survive in the underclass. In the end, she had to work as a cleaner to make ends meet. Because of her hard work and diligence, Bella decided to let her come twice a week to clean for herself, twice a week to clean up after herself. She would also invite her to dinner with her. Bella knew that Anna was not very talkative. It must be because she doesn't look good. To encourage her, Bella would paint Anna's face with delicate makeup. She would also give her beautiful dress to her to wear. But what Bella didn't know was that Anna was secretly. She had been doing something unknown to the public. She would often sneak into Bella's room. She would take her pearl necklace while Bella was taking a bath. Anna would also watch from the doorway. One day Bella was walking Anna home as the road became darker and darker. When she was almost near Anna's house, she didn't want Bella to know where her house was, so she hurriedly got out of the car and went into the woods. Soon Anna was back in her chaotic home. There were many plastered heads in the darkness. She took the pearl necklace she had stolen. She put it on herself and looked in front of the mirror for a long time. Since her disfigurement, she was afraid to face herself. She looked at the mirror in silence as if she was planning something. One day she looked at Bella, who was sleeping. She took a piece of cloth and slowly covered it up. In the middle of the night, the cleaning lady sneaked into the master's room and then used a potion to knock her out. Afterwards, put layers and layers of plaster on her face. When the plaster dried, it was a human face mold. Anna returned home, used silicone to create a human face of her own. She wore the dress Bella had given her with the necklace she stole with her freshly made face. She admired herself quietly. What's even more outrageous is that she even took Bella out for yoga putting on a mask and soaking in Bella's bathtub, with candles lit, listening to music and walking comfortably. People who don't know think she is the owner of the mansion. Bella moved out of yoga. She met her former boyfriend. The two of them have been separated. This time Bella was in his arms again, when the two returned home to exercise. But they didn't know. There was a pair of eyes in the corner. Watching all this, Anna came home and ate the leftovers, thinking about everything that had happened recently. Bella was always distancing herself. No matter how hard she worked, she wouldn't take care of her the way she used to. She was the one who gave her a glimpse of light. Why did she have to be thrown into the depths of misery? She couldn't accept all these changes, so she decided to do something big. That day she sneaks into Bella's house again, while Bella was on the phone, covering her mouth and nose with the same deadly force. Soon Bella passed out. Then she took out her phone and sent a text message to the man. The man received the text message and immediately deleted it. I'm sure he's a repeat offender. On the surface, there was nothing. In fact, inside he was already happy. He seriously told his wife that he was going to work late. In fact, his wife is not stupid. Already felt that her husband's expression was not right. So she sneaked up on him. She intended to catch him on the spot. Unexpectedly, the man was knocked out by Anna as soon as he entered the house. When they woke up again, already wrapped in plastic wrap, Anna took out a kitchen knife and told her, if she killed the man in front of her, then everything would be over. Then we could go back to our old happy days. Bella refused to do it. Anna had an even more cruel solution. She brought super strength sulfuric acid and poured it on the man's thighs. The man let out a heartbreaking wail. 
Bella was unable to do anything. At this point Anna calmly said, if you don't do something, I will pour the acid on his body little by little. Slowly let her die of pain. This girl is too ruthless. She took the acid and aimed it at the man. The lower half of his body falls down. Anna saw that Bella was still hesitating. Then she ripped the plastic wrap off the man's mouth. She poured the super strength sulfuric acid down his throat. The boyfriend gave a desperate look, hoping that Bella would quickly end her suffering. In the end, Bella was forced to do nothing. She ended her boyfriend's life with a knife. After Bella's sick heart was satisfied, she gave Bella another shot of anesthetic and then put her in a box. Then she drove off in the man's car. The man's wife had been waiting outside for a long time. When she saw her husband's car leave, she followed him closely. Anna took Bella back to her house. She imprisoned her in the bathtub. Probably by this time Bella's son was regretting, but it was too late. Anna told her everything was going to be okay. Then she took a serving of rat juice out of the fridge. She walked into a prison cell. There was a thin, bony figure huddled in the darkness. Anna was going crazy, pouring rat soup into her mouth. It seemed no matter how busy she was, she couldn't let her mother go hungry. After all this, Anna rushed to the car to dispose of the man's body. On the other hand, the girl searched the road and found her husband's car. She cautiously went to the room, groping. She heard Bella's cries for help, seeing Bella in the bathtub. She was bewildered. She thought they were playing truth or dare. Bella saw her. It was as if she had seen a straw that saved her life. She hurriedly asked her to let herself out. After Bella's nervous statement, the woman also seemed to realize the danger. She found a kitchen knife from the kitchen, helped Bella cut the rope. But just as they were opening the door to escape, Anna was waiting outside the door. Then she hit her on the head, until the woman made no sound. Bella was so scared, she ran into the house and hid. She went around and found the car keys from the woman's body. Found the car keys. Bella rushed to the car. But before the car could start, Anna cracked the glass and grabbed her by the hair. She gave Bella a shot of an unknown liquid. Bella passed out again. When she woke up again, Bella found herself dressed in a beautiful dress. Her face had been painted with delicate makeup. She tried to go out. She found herself on an anklet. She couldn't reach the door handle with all her strength. When Bella looked out the window in despair, Anna was standing outside the window, staring at her. This is what Anna really wants. She was holding Bella captive in her room, just like her mother had imprisoned her.